Hi everyone, it's Dwellis Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. Now before I forget to say it, um, I'm going to say a, a very happy Easter to you all. Um, if you're travelling, stay safe on the roads and um, you know, just have a wonderful time if you're visiting with family and friends or you've got family and friends visiting you. Or if you're just on your own and you're going to eat lots of chocolate eggs, then that's good too. Um, you know, and for those of us who um, like to think of the um, what what Easter is truly about, um, the religious aspect of it, well then, you know, that's just, um, it, it's, it's a wonderful occasion for us as well. Sad, but wonderful at the same time. Okay, so this is, I'm going to do the, oops, Daisy, am I going to even see that? I'm going to do the draw, well it's not a draw, it's a, it's a bead counting for the 700 plus giveaway. Um, okay, so I've just toted up, sat with my, with my husband and toted up everybody's name and I've got them all written down, a bit of paper here. The ones that have got circles around the numbers, it means that there's duplicates. Like here we've got Pat S, she guessed 121, and we've got Rebecca, I am Mama 24, and she guessed 121. So that's it, you know, all the ones that have got little numbers around them, and they've got the names over here, like um, Pat S has got beside her, I am Mama 24, so that makes me know that that's the one that's guessed the same as her, and she's got, Rebecca's got Pat S next to her, so I've got it down to a fine art here. <laughs> This is, this, is, this is the second time I've done it and um, because some medication I'm on makes my eyes a bit blurry <laughs> I had to get David to check it all out for me just to make sure I got them all written down properly now here they all are I have not counted them I don't have the faintest idea what they are uh, or how many there are I'll make sure none fall down and as I said I'm not going to be counting those silly little boogle beads so they can just disappear. So I'm going to be counting these. And we have um, guesses from, I think the lowest is Nita, Crafty Nita, and she guessed 55. And I think the highest is, where is it? I think it was 222. I can't remember who's got that. Somebody guessed 222 and I can't even see it here, but I know they did. Oh yes, Amanda Scott version, she guessed 222. So we've got a variation from 55 to 222 and anything in between. Okay, so now I'm going to count them. Okay, one. This isn't this laborious, but it's, it's better than watching paint dry and it's better than watching grass grow. Just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. One. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just go over there somewhere and sit there quietly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to put you. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll stick you way up here in the little hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, and four. So that's just sitting there, that's four. Okay, so we've got, I haven't even counted that up in my head yet. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 4. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 84. And the number of the winning amount of bees is 84. Do you know, looking at them, I would have, I would have guessed a lot more than 84. <laughs> there you go. Clever people who didn't guess a lot more than 84. Okay, so let's see down here if anybody's that got it, got an 84. Got an 85 there, that was pretty close. Well, I don't think we've got an 84. Got an 83. No, no 84. But what we have got is Aunt Beck's Creations is 83. So that's one less than 84. And over here we've got Emma and she's guess 85 which is one more than 84 so those two people i'm going to quickly write their name did i bring a pen did i bring a paper now quickly write their name in the drawer and, and and there's only two of them i'll just shake them around and okay what's their names it's emma And the other person is Aunt Beck's Creations, was it? Yes, Aunt Beck's Creations got 83. So that's, I think her name would be Beck. Becky? Bex? Okay, so we've got Emma and Bex there. Just rip them up. And fold them into tiny little pieces. And if I had time, I would have called David in, but by the time David gets... Gets all the animals out of the way and climbs over them all. And okay, so just let me. Oh, if we've got a tin or anything that I can do these into. Tin, tin. Yes, I've got a tin. Oops, sorry, I just shook that. Oh. Okay, so got the two in the bottom there. Hope you can see that. Two sitting in there. I'm just gonna. Shake them like crazy. Shake, shake, shake. I can sing. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. I'm too old. I, I can't shake my booty now. I'm 63. Oops, a daisy. Okay, so I've got them all shaken up there. I'm going to put my hand in. I'm not looking. I couldn't couldn't see if I tried. Could I really? <laughs> my hand taking up the whole lot. Okie dokie, and we're going to have a big drum roll. I can't make a drum roll noise. Anyway, here it is. Let's see who it is. Oops, a daisy. And it's Emma, who is... I don't know this lady, I don't think. Emma Magiaficio. Sounds Italian. And she guessed 85. So... Just so that you can see it was all above board. Oops, so daisy. There you go. Those are the two contenders. She guessed 83, she guessed 85, and it was actually 84. <laughs> so much easier if somebody guesses the exact number, isn't it? So Emma. Emma Magia Magia Fica Fish Fitch. Fisho, oh, oh, I'm making a mess of that, I'm sure you'll tell me. Emma Magia Fisho, or Fico. Okay, so Emma, 
congratulations on winning if you would like to contact me um, private message me your um, full address I'm guessing that's your name um, so that I can post these out to you within the next week um, please contact me I know it's Easter so I'm going to give you until after Easter so a day or two after Easter so I'm going to give you almost a week to get back to me uh, if I don't hear from you I'm going to go to the to Aunt Bex Creations and she'll get it. She'll get them. So this is the prize winning, just to remind you. Oh, that heart. Little matching heart there, which you can you hang up on a wall. And this lovely little patent shoe, lilac patent shoe. So Emma. Please get back to me. I do understand that some people will be going away for Easter, but I also know that we're ahead. So here in New Zealand, it's all, it's midday and it's Good Friday. So, but in a lot of the world, it's still Thursday. So, um, just please get back to me. Let me know what your address is, and I'll give you until Tuesday next week, um, which will be. Oh, I'll, well, I'll give you till. I'll give you till Wednesday in New Zealand, which will be your Tuesday in the, if you live in the Southern Hemisphere. No, Northern Hemisphere. We live in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, I've got a package here, and this package is from... I'll just close it up. It's from Australia. And, um... Yep, there you go. You can see it's from Australia up there. Yep. And it's from my friend Irene. And, um... I'm guessing this is my um, design team package. So thank you, Irene. Thank you, Irene. Um, it arrived a couple of days ago, but I've been working, so... Um, and I'm working today, actually. So, um... I'm going to... I'll, I'll get on to making something. And, um... Yeah. You'll see what I make. Well, of course you will. Okay, once again, a happy Easter to you all. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. Um, you all, you know, said how sorry you would hear about hear about Rosie, and um, yeah, I mean that that's been hard, but you know we're getting there. We, we, we've I say good morning to her every evening. Oh, no, I do not say good morning to her every evening. I say good morning to her every morning because. Where we've buried her is just right outside our bedroom window. So I open the window and I say good morning to her. And I suspect that David might be doing the same thing. <laughs> and, you know, I say good night to her when I switch the light off in the room that she used to sleep in. And we always refer to that as Rosie's room. And we're still referring to it as Rosie's room. So I'm going to say goodbye to you all. And thanks for in, um, joining in this um, giveaway. And I'll have another one soon. Bye for now.